So the mission covers Scotland, Northern Ireland, and then the Republic of Ireland. So it's kind of like three countries in a way. Um, so that's kind of the geographical thing. The weather is mostly cloudy and rainy. Never gets terribly warm. I think the warmest it ever got, or that I remember it getting, was probably around 75 to 80 degrees. So relatively cooler climate. Um, we always had the joke that in June you got your two weeks of summer, and then it would go back to rainy and cloudy. So, <laughs> um, so that was kind of the weather. But like it wasn't bad. You got used to it after a while. You never left without a rain jacket. Because even if the sun was shining, it was probably going to rain on you at some point. Um, the food, like fish and chips were pretty big. Um, and it was cheap too. It was really good. You got a lot of it, so that was fantastic. Um, we eat a lot of potatoes. Those are really common food to have with most, with most meals. Um... But they don't, I don't know, there's nothing really, like, strange or, like, crazy that they eat. Everything's, you know, normal, I would say. Um, in Scotland, you do get haggis uh, for, like, Robbie Burns night, which is, which is interesting. It's not bad. Like, I'd eat it again. <laughs> um, uh, potatoes, like, meat pie, like, shepherd's pie is a pretty popular one as well. But I had a variety, like, pizza spaghetti at one member's house stuff like that so it was it was really good um in dublin you got quite a few people from like other countries like going to university and stuff so in dublin you get kind of a variety of different cultural foods like we had a filipino family we would see so they would cook us like filipino food which is excellent by the way um so stuff like that um as far as other things go a lot of the buildings are really old which is cool. Gives you a lot of things to do on like preparation day. There's lots of old castles and stuff you can go see that are, that'll usually be pretty close to your area and whatnot. Um, public transportation is really big over there too, so that's what we would use to get around or just walk. <laughs> I guess in Scotland you've got uh, William Wallace or Braveheart is a big hero over there. Uh, so there's some monuments to him and stuff, which is it's fun to go see those. Um, over in Ireland, you've got a lot of interesting things. Um, like, there's a leprechaun museum in Dublin, I remember that. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, like, legends and stuff associated with a lot of, like, their locks. Like, you've got, like, the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland and, and stuff like that. So there's, there's quite a few fun, like, cultural, like, stories and stuff you, you hear.